Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey at Ripe Color, and this is Nancy Jean in the Garden, and it's March 20th. Um, a good day to bake a pie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know why I said that. Um, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. We read on five energies daily. I read five cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. Uh, the energies being body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. We, we both offer physical goods in the world. Nancy has gardens and grids available for purchase. I have uh, scarves and t-shirts and pocket squares, et cetera, et cetera, as well as astrology, mugs, and t-shirts, uh, all available on my website. All the information for all those things is below our respective channels. And that's that. Yes, that's pretty much it. So here we go. I'm gonna make some noise here, Jeffrey. I'm gonna throw the rocks. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. Oh, there goes my phone. Um, body, I have the Wheel of Fortune, which is really interesting. This is mm -hmm. really a change of season now. And this is really a change of season. This is like the change. This is like you're evolving. You're bought. You're evolving. Mm -hmm. You know, growing into a new way of thinking, a new way of being, a new reality. Mind, you know, your mind might be a little unclear. It might be a little um, sort of. Well, I want to do this, and I want to do that, and I want to do this, and I want to do that. I'm not really sure. There's a little bit of that going on. Um, spirit you know, is really wanting to communicate with you, but you have to be willing. You have to be willing to like take off your blindfold to see, to hear, to feel, to smell. Uh, because I feel like sometimes you might get a little bit confused. So maybe if you sit and wait, it'll become clear. You know, it might not be the best idea to like do something right. You know, because I think like you've been renewed and it, sometimes it takes time to get into a new body to get into a new reality so some you know yep um grounding is like it's all here for you it's all here for you um you know here's the offer here's the gift here's the healing um and i hope you're able to like you know recognize it and um grab it or accept it I think that the way that you'll be able to is really through communication with spirit. I think, you know, if you get a little bit, sometimes I have days where I'm like a little cloudy. I'm a little like unsure. I'm a little bit like, I don't really know what to do. And then I, if I calm down, you mm -hmm. know, cause this also is sort of like mm -hmm. part of meditation. If I calm down and, you know, decide to evolve maybe with spirit, then, um, because, you know, they're in the church. So it's, a lot of times it's a spiritual card for me. And it's also a card of money. It's a card of building. It's a card of a lot of things. I feel like if you do that, you'll be able to like actually manifest something. But sometimes we need to like quiet ourselves. We're, we're kind of in the middle of stuff. It's kind right. of like in both places. It's like, I need to quiet myself and concentrate and feel and say, okay, what's the next right move for me? So that I don't just end up doing nothing all day. Well, odd day. It's it's a contemplative day. It starts out with, uh, I'm going to read about the heart at the end of this. But the heart, I had a person who got my garden at the very first name, Vivian, and she has had just a whole lot of visions about the garden. And she said, whenever the heart shows up, that's the entry to the garden. And in this case, it's this is encouraging us. Our values are encouraging us to have understanding. And understand everything's just not the physical place we want it to be yet, but it's there, it's coming, but we should feel that in our heart. What we have for spirit, it's everything else is in the grounding elements that create us. So for spirit, we have, um, it's um, in earth and the spirit's transforming, but it's not yet finished. The body's in fire, so it's trying to embody things. It's trying to work things out and get move them to water, which is moving forward. And it's just, it's just all the rest of these stones just say, I'm here and I'm here. 
and almost contrasting thoughts, you know, clarity is between air and water. And in there, it means it when it's in um, air, it says, be sure your thoughts are correct before you move forward. And when it's in water, it means uh, you have the, you can have the clarity you need, but you need to follow one of many paths that are ahead of you. And your mind is also st stuck between two elements. And your mind is saying, your thoughts are all important and that a lot of your thoughts aren't finely tuned enough yet. So it's kind of a screwy day. I mean, but it's, it's, we're just at sort of a resting point, letting our thoughts and our, our different parts of our body balance out. But what happens in the heart chakra, um, is, and, what my vision of the heart chakra is, and it is the entry to the garden, um, is my personal vision of the heart is the chapel in the woods at the edge of a very small lake. It is where I went to summer camp. I received my rag or triangular piece of cloth fabric, which I pledged to work with my body, mind, and spirit for the greater good. On that night, I recall my spirit being moved into a large divine space above the chapel and above the roofs above the woods. That's the first time I was about 11 or 12 years old. And it's the first time I ever felt myself, my spirit leaving my body for any reason. I was aware that there were greater forces, but um, that could be claimed for me. Help and trust of the others is at the bedrock. I'm finally standing in this space in my life and fulfilling that purpose. And that's what heart means to me. So I think it's a day when if you open yourself up, it's not going to be something maybe even other people will see or even you'll totally recognize, but you'll feel general movement in your heart chakra and how it opens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like a, it's an observation through the lens of the heart. That's right. Yeah. And we could, we feel like things are coming into balance, but I can tell you with the stones there, everything's in a point of transition. Yeah. So that's the vibe for that day it's for them and i look forward to seeing y'all tomorrow and then hopefully the stones will have turned a different way and we'll all be balanced right shake it up shake it up shake it up bye-bye <laughs>